Yeah, you are now tuned in. I'm your host, The Voice. This is The Hemet Beat. Hello, this is Dennis Fletcher with The Beat. The Beat. Uh, you the are beat, listening to The Beat. Oh, smart the girl now. The Beat. This the beat. is Hemet Beat. Hey, San Jacinto and Hemet. Are you all local artists out there? Are you good at your craft? Do you know what you're doing? Send us a link. Let us see what you got. Thank you for tuning in to the Hemet Beat. Uh, today we are checking out Kevin Saunders. Oh yeah, we do use royalty-free music. So if you make music and uh, you have some instrumentals, you make beats and things like that, and you're looking for a way to get your music heard, please submit it to the Hemet Beat. Yeah, like I said, the instrumental that I chose today to play behind Kevin Saunders, I, I questioned myself. I said, is this beat too hard for Kevin Saunders? But you know what? I'm going to let you guys be the judge because I really like the beat. You know, uh, it's a really tight track. I'm going to have to go look it back up to find out the name and everything. I'm going to start doing that. Make sure I give out the names and uh, YouTubes and connections to the people that uh, make the tracks that we use. But uh, yeah, without further ado, here is Kevin Saunders. I am rolling with the smooth, too cool, Chamber of Commerce Super Swag Delicious. You know, the Chamber of Commerce Swag, I mean, it's already in Let the Let me tell name. you something. Uh, uh, Chamber, of Com Chamber of Commerce Swag is a whole nother level, you guys. It's on some brand new stuff. Hello, this is Dennis Fletcher of Hemet Eye News. I'm here with my partner, Joseph Page, videographer, and we're at the boardroom of the Hemet San Jacinto Valley Chamber of Commerce. We're here with Kevin Saunders, and we're gonna interview him for his candidacy for the San Jacinto City Council. Kevin, could you tell us a little bit about your background first and how you got to this town? I can, and first of all, thank you for allowing me to speak on this platform, which I think is just so amazing that we have some intelligent reporting, uh, videographers, uh, directors, uh, talent overall in this valley to cover this type of detail here. So as you mentioned, I am Kevin Saunders. Uh, I came to this valley honestly because it was affordable in 2005. This was one of the most affordable areas but believe it or not, at that time, real estate was sky high in 2005. I don't know if you remember that. That was pre-2008 when the crash happened. So although I came here because it was one of the most affordable areas and cities in Southern California, it still was pretty high at that time. Uh, but I came here because, again, it was affordable. It was quieter, too, than some of the other areas that I had lived in. I was uh, lived in... LA, I lived in Moreno Valley, cities like that where it's a little faster, a little quicker. This area was much slower. I remember coming to this valley and being uh, the only family inside of a movie theater watching a film, uh, going to the banks and being one or two people in line to go and do my transaction, and going to the grocery store and being just a handful of people inside of a grocery store. And I really like that because it was, it did have that slow uh, kind of feel and that was what was attractive. And so now things have changed. It's much faster. The city has grown tremendously. Population has increased. More homes have been built and uh, more businesses have come to town as well. <laughs> 